Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's Wanheed, back to watch from Stargate SG-1, here to watch Season 6, Episode 14, if I believe so. This one is titled Smoke in Mirrors. Let's get this thing going, y'all. I got a nice long binge ahead of me. I'm super stoked for it. And, uh, yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and press that play button. Let's do it, fam! Shit! Six episodes... Oh, I'm fucking stoked, let me tell you. Let me fucking tell you guys. You know who's stoked? I'm fucking Stoked. Previously. Oh, Obviously. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, this is great. Oh. Love it. Mm -hmm. How far you'd go to stop me from becoming? A lot, because you're a piece of shit. Oh, is this gonna happen? Is he gonna become president? I hope he doesn't, bro. I hope he gets fucked. Alright, that is an assassination attempt. That's what we're about to witness. It shouldn't happen, but if it's for Kinsley, you know what? Nah. Any kind of assassination attempt on any one of our, how would I say this, senators, countrymen, it's an attack on all of us, the way I look at it, fam, so nah. Oh yeah, oh yeah they going for him. They got him. Oh shit, was it really Jack? He straight MacGyvered that bitch. He, that's classic MacGyver look, right? Am I wrong? What? What is going on? All right. Hey, we're back. What did I miss? Sir Senator Kinsey is dead. He's dead, okay, he's dead. Been all over the news for three days. <laughs> what deal is smiling? It looks like it was a professional hit. And old Neil is under arrest for the murder of Senator Kinsey. What? What's going on? You'll have to come with us, sir. I believe you, Jack. But for the moment, we're going to have to cooperate. I mean, it could have been a replica, replicant. I don't know what the fuck, a clone. I don't know. Actually, it looks like he was. Major Davis is acting as liaison between the two. Ooh, what's going on, Colonel. dude? He has a report for it. One of the neighbors told him that they saw Colonel O'Neill dumping something down by the lake. They sent down a diver who came up with this. He's not that sloppy. He's not. Ballistics match hit with the bullet that killed Senator Kinsey. I'm telling you, he ain't the sloppy. That's one thing. He ain't is not the sloppy. I've read the file on Kinsey, but it is a little vague. The senator was involved with a group of individuals who were unhappy with the way Stargate Command was being run. Yeah, fuck him. They tried to blackmail General Hill. Due respect, sir, the current administration owes a lot to the colonel. I'm aware of that, Major. As is the president. Unfortunately, there's nothing he can do for Colonel O'Neill at this time. On the other hand, I'm not a politician. Which is why I'm suspending SG-1's off-world duties and assigning the three of you to get to the bottom of this. Hell yeah! Full resources of this Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh! That's, uh, that's you, dude. That's that's more than being calm, bro. That's some fam love. That's that, yeah. Kinsey wasn't exactly my best buddy, and on occasion I felt like beating the crap out of him. Yeah. I didn't kill him. <clears throat> I was in Minnesota, on vacation. Did you encounter anyone I can verify your story? I was 20 miles away from the closest town, alone. That was the point. I believe him. I do. Perhaps this is all part of it. Three years ago, we had a foothold situation here at the SGC. 
Aliens gain control by using mimic devices to impersonate and replace base personnel, including myself. Mm hmm. Well, where are these devices now? Area 51. It's getting. Yeah, we need to get to the bottom of this. It's a fake. If I'm understanding this correctly, there is someone walking around out there that can make themselves look exactly like you at the push of a button. That's got to be relevant. It's classified information, James. Yeah, bro. But they can use it to find the real assassin. Maybe. Let's see what y'all got. So whoever did this can only impersonate a limited number of people. Twelve, to be precise, including Colonel O'Neill, Dr. Frazier, and Daniel. Wait, in case you're wondering, the teal command were never scanned. Yeah. It's good to know. I've requested all the personnel files on everyone. This is a nice little callback. I love it. <laughs> I wonder who they're shooting over up. <laughs> you're always fucking with the team, bro. Fuck them. For real. Major Carter. I was wondering how long it would be before you came by. Welcome in ID headquarters. Three years, only eight people. Dr. Brent Langham. Deceased. Given the circumstance, that would appear to be a highly unlikely coincidence. Or is it? What exactly are you implying there, Major? Kinsey was no friend of the Stargate Command. In fact, he tried to take you down more than once. We don't engage in criminal activity, Agent Barrett, which is more than I can say for you. Yeah. If you're referring to the Prometheus. What about Steve Stenorigan? You mm. sat by and watched while the Goa Wolf took over an entire town of yeah. civilians. That was an officially sanctioned operation. Yeah, well, excuses. That would have succeeded if it had. Your agents were compromised and your organization was about to be infiltrated. For real. You guys suck. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> if you'll excuse me. I've got work to do. Oh, man. She's... Love it. Love it. She's out here batting, dude. It says here that by 2075, the Earth's oceans will be too warm to sustain most coral reefs. Yeah, we're, we're still on that track. Once they're gone, the entire ecosystem of the planet will collapse. Yeah, it's happening. What? It's happening. We spend all of our time trying to protect the world from the ghouls. Maybe we should worry a little more about protecting it from ourselves. Yeah. He was about to give me enough evidence to bring down the entire leadership of the Shadow Group. How did you convince him? Let's just say I know about a few of the skeletons in the senator's closet. You blackmail them. I'll do whatever it takes to bring these people down. Okay, so is he on the team? Your job requires you to be suspicious of everybody, even your co-workers. Where I come from, we trust each other with our lives every day. Maybe that's something you can't understand. <laughs> I think so. Well, I guess it's never too late. For real. She said it perfectly. They do. They try. That's why. I'm... Yeah, bro. SGC is where it's at. I would love to work yeah, at the SGC. Toxicology report came back clean. No signs of any drugs or alcohol in victim's blood. Why is that unusual? Well, Dr. Langham was epileptic. His condition required him to take regular doses of anticonvulsant drugs. There should have been traces of those. So that wasn't him. Died. The dental records were falsified. He didn't have any paramilitary training. Perhaps Dr. Langham merely provided the mimic devices for a fee. But he can lead us to whoever was responsible. Yep. I don't care what it takes. I want you to find this Dr. Langham. Yes, sir. Let's go, fam. Let's go. This shit is so fire. If you know they're selling illegal guns, why don't you shut them down? They allow them to operate in exchange for information. Sometimes you gotta cross the line, maybe. You just gotta know when to step back. Smart. I like this guy. I like him. Hey, Leo. I like him a lot so far. Agent Barrett, when are you gonna get yourself a new suit? Black is good for any occasion. Yeah, it's also thinning. Who is this guy? We can talk in front of him. They got kind of like Rob Deerdeck a little bit. That Agent Barry. Is that the guy? That's a gun. Did you look at any other weapons besides the 700? Yeah, as a matter of fact, we did. Sound suppressed revolver rifle. Did he handle it? Sure. Was he wearing gloves? No. How much? That dude's just winning. Winning. Good call checking for a second weapon. Thanks. You're welcome. I hope that dude survives. I worry about him. It's like anything can happen. <clears throat> you can access.
assess the National Pharmaceutical Database and focus on new prescriptions written in the past three weeks. We can cross-reference that with age and gender, and we should be able to narrow down field. Smart cookie, you. The cars they use, they must have, their budget for the cars in the show must have been really low, bro. Because that's, if that's a Grand Prix, what was that? that shit was like the cheap car back from the fucking, like, my, my uh, high school age. I mean, them motherfuckers ran, they're, they're, but they were gas guzzlers, if I remember correctly. <coughs> a gas back in the day was like $2.70, $2.79. Yeah, okay, that's me. What's this about? Our apologies. You are not the man we are looking for. No, wait, wait, wait. I know that guy. When I first came to Stargate Command, he was one of the airmen they gave him. They're out here, bro. Uh, man, this, bro, Teal's gonna grab you in like two seconds. I don't know so much about Jonas, but Teal, he, 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 there he is, right there, exactly. <laughs> that was over in the back of the truck, guys. Yep. Dr. Langham, I presume. Yep, they're getting, and they're gonna get this. They're gonna figure out this mystery. Well, uh, have you said anything? No, sir. We're letting him sweat. We did ask for a lawyer. <laughs> He's not gonna. A problem. We're not exactly following the proper procedure. No one wants Colonel O'Neill back more than I do, but this is a delicate situation. Yeah. I understand you... this man had some injuries when you brought him in. So... <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Lane was reluctant to come. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying is we have to be careful. We're offering him way outside of the jurisdiction, and like it's not, this man has right. He will volunteer the information. Of that, I am certain. <laughs> I love this shit. It's so good, dude. It's just so well done. The acting, dude. Christopher Judge's facial expressions are just like the best thing in the world. He's gonna, I bet he's gonna walk in there and do the talking. <laughs> See, look at it. He's puffing his face. He just, you would be terrified, terrified if that man came and was trying to interrogate you, bro. Yeah, out of everything would have been coming out. <laughs> okay. Yes, I took the mimic devices. I switched them with the fakes, but I didn't know what they were planning to do with. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is hilarious. All right, I'll tell you what I know, but you have to promise me protection. <laughs> Dude, that's all it took. That was it. That was it. That was it. That was fucking it. That was all that needed to be done. <clears throat> so. The writing, the acting was just so perfect, that whole entire scene. Whoever did that was great. Uh-oh. Yeah, he gives no fucks. He, you know, he wants to get rid of this camp. I like this guy so far. I hope he's not a backstabbing asshole. And I hope he doesn't die on accident. Uh-oh. Go. That was a terrible explosion too. Very bad CGI on that explosion. They call themselves a committee. They run the whole show. We're going to need today. I think money has anything to do with this. In the last six months, there have been at least 10 new patents that can be traced back directly to Area 51. Metallurgy, computers, you name it. Damn. <clears throat> so they're selling alien technology? No, but they're buying it. These are secret agents, they're businessmen. Rogue NID agents work through them. We got hundreds of millions invested, and they expect to make billions in return by incorporating alien advantage. This would so happen in our world. This is so. Oh my God. You work for the Air Force. You don't have a witness protection program. But we do have the Stargate. We have other options. Yeah, bro. We've got the names of those responsible for the assassination. Is that supposed to mean? We have an inside source. If you don't tell me what I need to know, I'm gonna have to make a phone call. You're the one who's always talking about trust. I don't know if you trust this guy, bro. Shut your mouth, girl. We encountered the devices three years ago during the foothold situation. It was a close one. Kinsey was trying to shut down the Stargate program. Senator Kinsey's not dead. He's in a coma. We've got him under 24-hour guard. What? 
Why the hell didn't you tell me? Because we needed to keep his condition a secret for his protection. So we were both keeping secrets. That's the way the game's played. Yep. This is crazy. This is like a whole new level of Stargate. Whole new level. I love it. Who are they sending? Uh, liaison officer. Major Davis. There are 12 alien devices capable of mimicking specific individuals. Major Davis was one of them. Jesus. Oh, man. Come to check on the server. Yes, sir. Oh, fuck. It's not good, dude. Not good at all. No. Oh, fuck. Damn, I didn't know Kinsey would have been that big of a fucking asset at this point. I was thinking he was the... That's not Agent Devlin. That's not Agent Devlin. There's somebody else. That's not important. His accusations will be little more than a minor inconvenience for us. These guys are about to get fucked. Instead of worrying about him, I suggest this never happens in the real world. These guys always win. Fuck them though. At least we can pretend. General Hammond. Once he's out of the way, we can replace him with someone more sympathetic to our concerns. This is like every body's dream to see these fuckers go down because they're gonna go down here in a second i know they are sgc's fuck yeah bro talk to hammond have to reconsider those retirement plans he doesn't seem like the type to bow to outside pressure mm -mm. Well, he's about to fuck yeah, you guys up be very convincing. <laughs> if he still refuses to play ball then kill him <clears throat> You guys are what fucked. Is... Oof. Oof. General Hammond sends his regards. Oh! Oh, that feels so good. That feels so great. That feels so amazing. Oh, the hologram lasted six and a half minutes. It's a new record for us. Oh, wow. That feels so great. This never happens in the real world. It happened in... Yes! I applaud this. What makes you think I was going to come in here before you got them to incriminate them? When you work with someone, you just know. Oh, yeah. She'd be having little crushes here and there with some, you know. I just thought we should have a little chat before we meet the press. Did you need to gloat a little? <laughs> this is kind of good, dude. The American people don't want their Air Force officers to be assassins, Jack. They want them to be heroes. Yeah. I'm going to make you a hero. He hates this. But then he also gets it. Damn, what an episode. It was an unfortunate but necessary final step in my investigation of certain anti democratic forces that had taken root. He's going to be president. The key leaders of this conspiracy have now been taken into custody. He's going to be president. The success of the operation was well worth any personal sacrifice on my part. And I want the American people to know. Oh, dude, he hates it. Elected, I would also like to thank Colonel Jack O'Neill of the United States Air Force for the vital role he played in my investigation. Colonel. Oh, he has to do it. Oh, man. Smile, Colonel. You just won me the election. Oh, he did. He did. He did. He did. This is so disgusting and so fucked at the same time, bro. But it's, it was like so necessary. Episodes like this, man, get me really fucking like churning, dude. But it was so good. It was so fucking good, man. Holy shit. Holy yeah. This, this one was that was that was a good one, fam. That was a really good episode. Just all, just just all of it. <clears throat> Cause like, and it's so and it's so fucking crazy because as one i guess head of the hydra is taking down this the commi committee or whatever the one what they were doing and they were you know as they've gotten taken down another one is coming to power and what's coming to power right now is kinsey because kinsey's gonna be president he's right he just won the election what just what we just witnessed like who would if this was in if this happened today if we had a president that allowed himself to get shot First of all, showing the fact that he's willing to give sacrifice in order 
for a to break down a conspiracy within their own government because people already distrust the government distrust the government as it is boy let me tell you that man would be elected president forever like ridiculously and that's what kinsey just did i would vote for him after what after witnessing this debacle man like what the fuck but it's just so fucked up because you know how we, we all know what he did to get there obviously it doesn't sit well with o'neill uh and it's just so crazy right now how far like this whole Stargate and alien technology has come forward. This like this is literally like we're out here dealing with other otherworldly shit like the galaxy and the Galactic Federation with like fucking all these different species and in and, 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 and crazy intelligence life forms out there while we're dealing with the cancer that is in our planet sometimes of this money, greed, and power bullshit. It's just it's crazy. It's just so crazy to look at both of these and just think about how the world would really react. Like, how would the world react if the Stargate was here? If there was alien technology? Yeah. What they, the billionaires coming in and, and, and buying him and doing, sh yeah, that, I 100% see that shit happening, you know? But what we witness here about them being taken down and by like that, I don't foresee that happening. But what we did witness as another higher, bigger power comes in to take over, yes, that probably would happen. And I don't think it's a good thing that Kinsey's going to become president. I know he brought some people down, but he brought those people down in order to become president, to make his own agenda happen. It's nuts. All right, y'all. Thank you again for watching with me. I appreciate it. I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.